Tonight, for the first football game without Coach Collins, St. Clair County High School held a moment of silence and a balloon release. CBS 42 News reporter Michael Clark has a reaction from those who knew Mr. Collins. During a vigil this week, players said Collins' death would give them motivation to play and win for him on the field. Tonight was the first game of the season without him. Before Friday Night Lights at St. Clair County High School, balloons flying high for assistant coach Mike Collins. We know Mike for 20 seven years or so. We've come out to pay respect for him. David Patterson and Donna Richardson were heartbroken Friday after deputies arrested Dakota Griffin. Investigators say Griffin and Collins had been in a romantic relationship and that Griffin stabbed Collins approximately 70 times. Players who knew Collins told us earlier this week they'd be playing games for him. He was a role model to not only I, but this whole community. He's a special man. It's going to be missed by many, many people. Patterson and Richardson say plans to remember the longtime friend before Friday's game were dialed back, and they wonder if news of a former male lover caused organizers to make changes to the plan. They just did a prayer or a moment of silence for healing of the community. They never mentioned Mr. Collins' name. Um, there was no announcement of the balloon release. Everybody just kind of let him go. It was as if everything just kind of fell through once the news came out today about everything. Now friends are trying to raise money for a funeral while students adjust to a year without a familiar face with encouraging words. He said, Kendra, I've watched you grow up from the time you were six, and I know you can do anything that you put your mind to. Now, Griffin's total bond is set at $510,000. He's being held in the St. Clair County Jail. In the studio, Michael Clark, CBS 42 News, local coverage you can count on.